Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. Now, we are going to talk about golden ratio and a mention ko from my previous video which is Fibonacci numbers. Ngayon, ay malalaman natin kung ano nga ba talaga ang golden ratio at kung paano to isolve. So, let's start! Golden ratio means the ratio of the two quantities is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger value of the two quantity. Ibig sabihin, ang ratio ng dalawang value ay equal sa ratio ng total value sa pinakamalaking given value. So base sa given example, ang A na may mahabang linya ang may bigger value at ang B naman ang may small value. Ang golden ratio ay tinatawag ding divine proportion dahil siguro ang human beauty ay base rin sa divine proportion. Nire-represent ng Greek symbol na phi ang golden ratio. Ito ay considered as an irrational number. Tinatawag din itong golden mean or golden section. Ang value ng golden ratio ay 1.618 Zero three three nine eight eight seven four nine eight nine four eight four eight two zero. Paano nga ba nakuha ang given value ng golden ratio? So how to get the value of the golden ratio? So using this line, gagamitin natin to para makuha ang value ng golden ratio. So naran tayo ng A at sa kabi na line. So ang pinakamahaba na line ay ang A and then short is B. So accordingly, the long part is divided by the short part which is ang long part ay ang A divided by the short part which is B and then equal to the whole length divided by the long part. So ang whole length nito is A plus B Divided by the long part, which is A. So, ito ngayon ang tinatawag na golden ratio property. So, ang sabi, ang C daw, which is the golden ratio, ay equals to 1.618 and so on. So, paano nga ba nakuha ang 1.618 na value ng golden ratio? So, A over B is equals to A over A plus B over A. Ang A over B ay ang B. At ang A over A is equals to 1. So, Therefore, ang B over A naman, since A over B is C, ang B over A is 1 over C. So, therefore, ang equation natin ngayon, C is equals to 1 plus 1 over C. So, paano ngayon malalaman kung ilan kung 1.61805 nga ba ang phi, which is the golden ratio. So, paano natin malalaman ang value ng phi using this equation? So, let's test using the digits of golden ratio. So, isasubstitute natin ang phi dito sa equation into 1.618. And so on. So, gagamit lang tayo ng 3 decimal places. So, P is equals to 1 plus 1 over 1.618. Which is equals to 1.618. So, so tama nga. Ang process natin dahil lumabas na ang fee 
is equal to 1.618, which is the value of the golden ratio. So another way of solving the value of C, which is the golden ratio, ay gamit ang quadratic formula. So first, i-multiply mo na natin siya both sides by C. So C times C is C raised to 2 which is equals to 1 times C is C, then plus C divided by C is so 1. And then, so you arrange lang natin, transpose all these two, num, two, uh, two terms, which is C plus 1, so C raised to 2 minus C, minus 1 is equals to 0. So, ito ngayon ang new quadratic equation. So, using this quadratic equation, gagamit tayo ng quadratic formula para masolve ang phi. So, the, ang formula for phi ay phi equals to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, Using the quadratic equation, based sa quadratic equation, A natin is equals to 1. And then, ang B natin is equals to negative 1. And, ang C natin is equals to negative 1. So, substitute sa original value. I substitute ang value sa quadratic equation formula. So, isa-substitute lang natin ang value ng A, B, and C sa quadratic. So, ang equation is C is equals to since ang B is negative 1, so, magiging positive na siya ngayon kasi negative ang B then times negative 1 is positive 1. So, gagamit, gagamit tayo ng plus minus 1 plus or minus the square root of since b is to 2 or b squared is equals to negative 1 so maging positive 1 na lang siya and then in 4 times AC. A times C is negative 1. So, times negative 4. So, maging positive 4 na siya. So, yan. All over 2. So, ang equation ngayon is magiging C equals to 1 half plus the square root of 5 all over 2, which is also equals to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Ang equation ng C, which is also equals to 1.618 and so on. So, yun na guys. Kung nagustuhan nyo ang video nito, like this video at kung may iba pa kayong tanong, comment down your question. Kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe, please subscribe to my channel para updated kayo sa mga videos ko.